All right, folks, the 2024 season of the NBA is underway, so let's talk some hoops. NBA 2K25 on the Steam Deck. It's like cramming Victor Wembanyama into a smart car. Yeah, it might fit, but should it? Now, 2K has been rocking a next-gen engine since 2K21, and after holding out on every other release, they've finally brought it to the PC version. (laughs) It only took them five years. So can this humble handheld handle the next-gen high-flying ankle-breaking action, or will it collapse faster than the 2018 Rockets in Game 7 against the Warriors? Spoiler alert, this is going to get interesting. Let's jump right in. Alright, so we're running NBA 2K25 on low settings here, which sounds like it'd be a visual downgrade, right? But here's the thing, on the Steam Deck screen, it actually still looks pretty solid. At a normal distance, you're not even going to notice the missing reflections or lower textures or anything like that. It's kind of like looking at a Monet painting. Up close, maybe not such a masterpiece, but step back a bit and it all comes together. Plus, we're locked in at 60 FPS, so it's smooth as butter. Who needs ultra settings when your screen is this small anyways? Alright, now we're going to bump up to medium settings and the graphics are slightly better. I'm talking a little more detail on the players, some nicer reflections, a bit more shading. But honestly, it's not a huge difference. More like swapping out your old shoelaces for slightly newer ones. Yeah, it's technically better, but you're probably not going to throw a party over it. The FPS is still hovering around 60, which sounds great, but as soon as the camera shifts or the view changes, the frame rate drops like it just tripped over its own feet. That stutter, yeah, you'll notice it, and suddenly everything feels a lot less smooth. Kind of takes the wind out of your fast break, if you know what I mean. So for me, the slight increase in visual fidelity is not worth the decrease in gameplay smoothness. Now for science, let's crank it to high settings, where the graphics do look noticeably better. The players, they've leveled up in realism. The court, it's shinier and flashier, feels like they just waxed the hardwood. But here's the kicker, the FPS drops to between 40 and 50, sometimes 30, and those dips, they're constant. We're talking stuttering all over the place, and if you thought you were pulling off smooth moves, the frame rate's here to remind you that you're actually stuck in molasses. It looks good, but trying to keep up, yeah, not so much. Sure, the graphics have leveled up in a lot of areas, but with the low frame rate, it's borderline unplayable. You're going to struggle to pull off any proper moves or plays, so high settings on this device? Yeah, I can't recommend it. Alright, so let's take a quick pit stop to review the settings menu. I found that FSR 2.0 Balanced is the best scaling setting, giving us the most bang for our buck. Now, there are two main settings to focus on, texture detail level and overall quality. I tested both medium and low texture detail levels, and trust me, even with low overall quality, 60 FPS wasn't happening on medium, so low texture detail is where it's at. Then, I ran through low, medium, and high overall quality presets. High looks nice and shiny, but the FPS takes a hit. doesn't look much better than low and still causes dips. So for the best experience, stick to low overall quality and you'll get that smooth 60 FPS without the headache. Now let's talk about the controls. The Steam Deck's layout is actually pretty nice for a sports game. Feels a bit like playing on a controller that's been stretched out like pizza dough, but it works. It just feels like a regular controller stretched out. The left and right sticks respond to your inputs faster than you'd expect, so pulling off a dribble combo with Kyrie or nailing a green release with Clay. It feels great, like butter. No lag, just pure smoothness. Input lag, almost non-existent. Unless you're a pro esports player with ungodly reflexes, you won't even notice. And if you are a pro player, you should probably stop watching this and go practice. Alright, so I also jumped into my player mode to see how it holds up. During actual games, the FPS stays solid, sitting around 60 just like in the regular mode, which is exactly what we want. Now, if you're moving around the city, you might see some dips, sometimes into the 40s, maybe even the 30s. But honestly, that's just when you're out and about. It's no big deal, really. The important part is that during the games themselves, it's still giving you that smooth 60 FPS. And that's what really matters when you're hitting those step back threes or throwing down a dunk in my park. So how does the Steam Deck hold up during all this intense NBA action? Let's just say I'm hearing more fan noise than from a Celtics home game at the TD Garden. The CPU's sitting around... 85 to 90 most of the time and the GPUs anywhere from 75 to 80 and that's on low medium or high settings as for the battery I played a quarter on each setting and on low and medium it drained about 9% per quarter and on high it drained 10% 
So yeah, the battery life is gonna plummet faster than my rank in my career. But hey, look at this little champ go. Running 2K25 is no small feat, especially with the new engine, and it's doing it. Just uh, maybe bring your charger to your next session and maybe an ice pack too. So, is NBA 2K25 good on the Steam Deck? Well, it's like that friend who's decent at basketball but gets winded after 10 minutes. It can definitely run 2K25 just fine, on low settings that is. And honestly, even though it's on low, the game still looks good to me. The animations on the next gen engine are smooth and it's a very enjoyable experience overall. Just make sure you've got a charger handy if you plan on playing more than two full games and you're good to go. But hey, don't just take my word for it, try it out for yourself and let me know how it runs for you in the comments. Thanks for watching and if you want to see me check out more Steam deck game tests hit that subscribe button or don't but i'll be sad see you in the next one